calculate weighted index number by Pascal's mothers, last best mother, Fisher's ideal index mother. We have to calculate the index number of the price. In this question, commodity is given, price in the base year is given, price in the current year, quantity, base year, current year also given. Price in the base year is P0, price in the current year is P1. Quantity in the base year is Q0 and quantity in the current year is Q1. Now I plotted P0, P1, Q0 and Q1. First one we are going to find index number of the price using last price method. In this method the formula is sigma P1 Q0 divided by P0 Q0 into 100. Therefore, first we have to multiply P1 and Q0. P1 is here and Q0 is here. 7 into 10, 79 into 8, 72 like that we are going to do. Now we are going to find the sum of P1, Q0. This one will be 272. Next one is P0 into Q0. P0 is 4 and the Q0 is 10. 4 into 10, 40. 5 into 8, 40. 6 into 15, 90. 2 into 5, 10. And finding the total of that one. Its total is 180. Next we are going to do it. P1 Q0 equal to 272 divided by 180 into 100. The answer is 1.511 into 100. It is equal to 151.1. In the next method is passes made. In this formula we have to find the sum of P1, Q1 divided by sum of P0 Q1 into 10. Therefore, first we are multiplying P1 into Q1. P1 is 7 and Q1 is 8. 7 into 8 is 50. 6. Then 54. 96. After that 12. Its sum is 218. P1 into Q1, 7 into 8, 9 into 6. Next one is P0, Q1. P0 into Q1 is 7 into Q1, 8. 4 into 8, 4 into 8 is 32. 32, then 30. 72 tall adding all these numbers we will get 146 therefore using passage method its answer will be sigma p1 q1 that means 218 divided by 146 into 100 equal to the answer here it is 149.315. When we are rounding it, we will get a 149.32. Next method is Fisher's ideal method. In this method, we have to find the square root of sigma P1 Q0 divided by P0 Q0 into P1 Q1 divided by P0 Q1 into 100. Therefore, the answer will be square root of, we can write this number here, or 272 by 180 into 218, 272 divided by 180 into 
218 divided by 146 into 100. Its answer is 1.511 into 1.49 into 32 its root into 100 it is equal to equal to square root of 2.2562 into 100 it is equal to its root 1.5020 into 100 equal to 150.20. All the answers will be almost the same.